Hey everyone. How's everyone doing today? Happy Sunday. It is Sunday here. I'm actually, we just got back from a landscaping job and I am taking the time to plant some bulbs. Um, I actually got some bulbs from a landscaping job that they didn't want the bulbs anymore. So I dug up as many as I could because I, I love flowers and things. Um, I believe they're tiger lilies, but it's basically an exciting adventure just to see what they come out as. So I have this spot on my lawn. Bella, did you say hi to everybody? She's back there. She wants me to throw her toy, but if I start, she's just not gonna, not gonna give up on it. So basically what I'm doing is we have a spot in our lower lawn that is all dirt and it doesn't grow grass. So I'm actually, we've been really wanting to start a flower garden here. So I figured what better way, like I got these free bulbs and, and here at the homestead, you know, we try to repurpose as much as we can and not waste. Um, so these, I believe are gonna make a fabulous um, flower garden. I figured I may as well try, I don't have any cost into them. And this part of the lawn, um, isn't a lawn it's just dirt so I figured might as well try it so um, I have two rows going I'm using my little baby spade which is my favorite tool on the homestead I think we actually got it for our son Taylor when he was a kid and it has just become my favorite because as you can see I'm not the, the biggest human in the world so um, it actually works good so what I'm doing is um, I'm just digging a hole big enough for the roots, basically. The bulbs, the bulbs are roots, whatever you want to call them. Not doing anything extravagant. Um, they're, they're not like just single bulbs you buy at the store. They're, they're pretty well, they're years and years and years old. So they, you know, they'll make, make it most anywhere. And these type of flowers, pretty much grow wherever you don't even want them to grow. So I'm literally just putting them in the hole and covering them up and hoping for the best. Uh, we do have some worm castings available and some worm tea. Um, we have our own worm towers um, that we make our own, some of our own uh, fertilizer with. So I might actually bring down some, oh, Bella. Yes, I know. Yeah, there. She would literally do that all day long and drive you crazy and you have to take her toy away. <sighs> See what I mean? All day. Every day. Bella, no more. Go on. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing at the homestead today. Uh, actually, just this afternoon. We actually had a mulching job today. Uh, the contractor got the mulch and we just got um, paid to put it down it was out of business which was super cool we actually got new shirts I don't know if you can see we have our woo, our logo on the back I'll put a picture in the comments um, really neat I just figured it's time to get shirts anyway we're starting up our own business so I figured might as well get some shirts right so I'm looking in the bag of bolts here to see what I want to put in next, I get some really big clumps I might actually separate, but this one actually looks like the perfect size. You see it? That's crazy. Look at that. All kinds of them. So you could actually, if you wanted to take the time, but I'm just kind of, ooh, my hair is a crazy hot mess today. I don't want to take the time. Um, I just want to see how many of, of them I can get to grow. If you wanted to take the time, you could actually do individual you can see that's a bulb right there. So you could literally take them apart and you could get probably <laughs> three times the amount. Sorry about the traffic. I'm down by the roadside. You could get like three times the amount of flower garden if you wanted to take the time to do that. Um, this area that I'm in, I, I kind of just want it full. So I'm just gonna put them in as, as is and see what happens. Um, the soil is kind of sandy here, but I'm not really worried about it. I think they'll do super good. I am going to water them 
and like I said, I'm going to put some, some worm tea or some, I think I'm going to sprinkle some worm castings. Look at this girl. <laughs> what do you want from me? What do you want? You're so cute. Isn't she cute? She's actually going to be looking for a boyfriend this spring. So yeah, we kind of want a litter of puppies. She's so cute. She's very intense. Super good, good girl. Like you couldn't ask for a better companion. So yeah, just planting some bulbs. So we started our own little business. Um, it's actually, we licensed our homestead. It's called Maine, as in the letter, uh, the letter, the state. Maine Smith Homestead, because we're the Smiths. Um, so we're pretty excited about our venture. We've actually been really busy. We're booked out. We are booked this weekend, the prior weekend, and now next weekend. We have a couple openings for some some odd jobs I might post that we're open for those. Um, but we're super, look at this. We're getting busy with our business um, in the process of getting licensed for my kitchen to be licensed so I can do like preserves and things. Um, we'll see how that goes. It's a very tedious process. I've done almost all the steps. Um, I have to send some jam in for testing through the extension and I'm just waiting. I sent in my application, so I'll wait for a, a home inspection, which should go well. We have a newer home. I mean, I say newer, it's 1984. It's not like new, new, but I think it'll go well, I hope. That's something I've done my whole life is cook for other businesses and manage other businesses and make them super uber successful. Now I think it's time for us to make ourselves successful, if it makes any sense, if anybody out there understands what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, just, you know, time for the Smiths. But I just thought I would pop on and at least share my Sunday afternoon activities. Ooh. I'm super pumped actually. I have a rose bush in the upper yard. Um, my mom actually gave me a sprig of it. It's like a homestead rose, they call it. I call it that anyway. My mom and I called it that. Um, it's actually a rose bush from a foundation to a house that is down below her house. They live on a dead end road. They have their own farm, East End Farm. Um, well, my mom's passed, so it's my dad's farm now, but my mom just loved it there. She said beyond the pines is, is a different world, and I agree with that. Their place is fantastic. Um, so circling back around, I'm sorry, I have like adult ADHD. You'll have like five, mini conversations on top of a conversation, but I think that's what makes me an interesting person. And you can find out a lot about me. Um, so my mom gave me a sprig of a rose bush that she found. Um, she found it, like I said, on the foundation of a, an old house. It was just, a, there's just a foundation left. Pretty sure my dad knows about it because he grew up in that area. Um, so she gave it to me and it's huge now, like ginormous. And when they get so huge, they have rootstock that comes out all around. I'm actually thinking about seeing if anybody would be, anybody would be interested in some rootstock, but I think I'm actually gonna put one also. There's a corner after this bed, there's a corner by the road. And I think that would be a cool place for another rose bush. So I think I might do that. I think it might be cool. Um, but another thing I wanted to touch base on is with us starting our own business and gardening season. If any of you have followed my channel before, you know that gardening is like my thing. Gardening is what makes me the happiest besides my husband and son and my dad. <laughs> um, gardening is just, to me, is amazing. Just the whole process of being able to 
to provide for yourself? Like, what if you couldn't go to the grocery store? You know, what if you couldn't just go buy something? Like, you'd have to do it yourself. I just put that in upside down. Don't do that. Um, and what I want to touch base on is my mom always told me I used to be a winemaker. I still make wine just for ourselves as a hobby, but she always told me, she's like, do what you love and the rest will follow. And I, I didn't, you know, you get so busy in life, you don't think about it. And now that we've had this chance and opportunity to kind of get our own thing going, I, I've been thinking about it more. It's like, do what you love and the rest will follow. Well, we love being outside. We love working together as a family. Not all families can work together. They kind of drive each other crazy, but for some reason, like, it's not that way with us. Like, we're very, we may get frustrated with each other, but nothing to not work together. Like, we really like working together. Um, and we love being outside. We love meeting people in these past few weeks, just meeting new people and being able to do a service for them. Like, it's amazing. And now I'm really understanding um, what my mom was talking about. And when I was in, oh geez, I think it was, I was in high school, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, I was in high school. I remember because my senior trip, we went away, we had cows. My mom took time off work. Uh, my dad always worked for himself. He instilled in us uh, the importance of um, customer service and, and hard work uh, to this day. <laughs> um, and, but my mom always worked outside the home. She, she had all kinds of different things that she did. She was amazing. And she uh, took a, a few years off just to grow her own food. And at the time I was like, oh, mom's losing it. She's having a midlife time. <laughs> but now I understand like, yeah, we grew our own, our own meat. We had two pigs, two cows, we had turkeys, we had meat, chickens, layers, like, it was insane and we'd grow all our own vegetables um and now i get it like what's important and what do you like to do and it will take you far and you'll be happy and i don't mean to get all sappy but now i just understand a lot especially since my mom's passed it's like i get it and i try to live each day i just had a birthday and i'm always like <laughs> dreading getting older and then i'm like I should be excited to get older because my mom was only allowed to make it to 62. It's like, I should be like so excited for the next year. And she was always so, oh, Bella, I'm sorry. She doesn't understand this sappy time. Um, she was always excited to get older, like super excited. And motorcycle. And now I get it. And I, and I am excited to get older. I don't know if I'll do it as gracefully as she did. She was like super, like not even caring. Like, oh, I'm so excited for this birthday, that birthday. And now that, that, now that I've lost her, it's like, okay, I get it. Like every year I'm allowed to be here on earth and doing what I love is, is a good year. Um, but I don't want to dwell on that, but just wanted to share a little bit. And, uh, I guess I'm going to go enjoy some more of the sunshine. I think I'm going to plant a little rose bush. Um, but I hope all of you are having a good weekend or had a good weekend. And we'll see you again soon. All right, guys. Bye.